guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you through my new desk and I wanted to show you this for a while because desk styling is something that I absolutely love and I finally have my little space which I am just enjoying so much and I really wanted to share with you some of the bits that I've brought to go on it, the way that I've styled it and just everything else in between and I know that this is something that I have filmed before on my channel on my old like little desk tour and it went down quite well so I thought that I would film an updated version with my new desk and my new little setup and share with you what it all looks like so yeah I'm going to get straight on with the video because obviously you don't really want to see my face you want to see what you clicked on for so here is my Pinterest style desk decor video so this is basically the area of where my desk is in the room so this little area here is the corner of our living room which you can see obviously here so it's just in this little corner here and then obviously my camera and my Capri Sun that I've just been drinking is there in the corner so I will take you over to my desk and then just give you like a little talk through um, and then I'm also going to go through sort of the bits and pieces that are on my desk as well. So the main desk itself is actually from Argos and it is the trestle table desk I think, trestle wooden table desk and I absolutely love it looks like this from afar if you can see and it does come with in these corners here it has like little crosses a bit like this section on the chair you can actually have them on the table as well I'll try and show you a picture of that um, but because I had like my printer and things I wanted to store on the bottom I didn't pop them in because it would have made it a little bit more restrictive it's a really nice wood it's I don't think it's like a solid wood I think it's like an MDF with like a wood overlay but I love the colour of it and I love that it looks really industrial with the metal legs I just I love it I love the industrial look um and this chair is also from Argos and I actually picked this up a while ago I'll pull it out so you can see it a little bit better so it's really Urkel based and I absolutely love it it has like a spongy squishy soft bit for your bum to go into it just finishes off the industrial look perfectly and i just love the look of it together so you can see me in my laptop over there so let's start with what is on the desk this is like an overview and i've done like some cutaways and some more fancier bits this was a little trinket tray that i picked up from a little homeware store near me but i have seen that a couple of other brands have started doing these recently so i'll try and link a couple of designs below for you and then i just keep my asop hand cream on there this is the resurrection hand balm and i love Love this so so much I've got a little gold necklace and then just these gold paper clips they're kind of just more for show really I just liked how it looked and then I have this vase with some fake eucalyptus in it I'm thinking of picking up some real eucalyptus to go in it because I think you can kind of tell that it's fake but the vase was from Poundland and I just think it's absolutely stunning for a pound I am so pleased with it I don't know if you can see but it's almost like a pastel pink color and I just think it's so pretty and for a pound I am very 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 happy with that so that just takes pride of place in the corner there and it just adds like a little bit of greenery to the desk and then I've got this book from Paper Chase which you may have seen in my June favourites video it's just a notepad which I write down lots of like video ideas blog post ideas and then I also do like my favourites and all of that sort of thing in there so that's just kind of my notepad that I jot down some ideas whilst I'm sat at my desk and then I also have this gold pen also from Paper Chase I'll try and twist it open so it's just like a little ballpoint roller pen but it's also gold and I just love gold accents for my desk I have an obsession with gold um, that leads me on to this next little thing which is a little hanging photo frame and this is from Oliver Bonus and you can close it up but I just keep it propped open so that it stands up on my desk and it also has like a little Polaroid picture of me and Sam this was taken on Christmas Day so yeah I just love having that on my desk and then another little dish from Oliver Bonus this is a bowl that me and Sam call the baked bean bowl because it looks like baked beans have splattered all over it. Um, and I just keep in my face oil because I like to pop this on when my skin is dry throughout the day. Another Laura Mercier hand cream. And then inside there, there's just like some cable tie store things. A couple of memory cards, some headphones. And then just my memory stick if I need it and clips and things. So that's just like my little trinket area. And then moving on, I have my MacBook Pro. This is my everyday laptop. 
as you can see this is like my everyday laptop you can just kind of see sam's blurred face in the background i absolutely love my mac so much it is the best investment i would say for my youtube channel other than obviously cameras that i've ever made so yeah that is my little laptop and then i also just have this like external mouse because it's a lot easier to use a mouse sometimes if you're working here quite often than using the trackpad um, I picked this up on Amazon for I think four or five pounds and it's just like a cheaper version of the Apple mouse Which I think is about 45 to 50 pound and I thought that was a little bit expensive for a mouse So I found this little one and it works perfectly so that is my little laptop and then moving on to this area I just keep a couple of books which are more sort of like blog related So we've got the Fleur de Force glam guidebook the Estée Lalonde bloom and then just because I absolutely love the colouring of this And it's just really pretty and cute. This is the little book of Hooger and I just kind of keep this more as like a little display area and then on top of here I've got a little cactus and this is inside an old diptyque candle glass and I just think it's very cute it adds another little bit of greenery to the table and then I have this little geode slither which I've had this literally since I was probably about five or six years old I used to collect like lots of things like this and then I just keep some polaroids on here another one from me and Sam on our anniversary a couple from Christmas Day with my family and I just keep the little geode there so that they all stay in place I love just adding like little touches of personal things on my desk and that is it so then I move on to this lamp which is from Asda I believe and I've had this for quite a while um, but I know that you can find loads of these in all different places like HomeSense, Asda again, um, I think Oliver Bonus do a couple of them so I'll try and find some similar ones and link them below and it's just handy in the evening if I'm working at my desk and then lastly on the top of the desk I keep my Sonos, I love this so much it's the best best speaker ever 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 invented, I listen to it all the time and you literally just have to press the button and it starts playing so it's so so handy to just keep on my desk and have as like a little chill space so that is kind of like the overview of the top area so now I'm going to move on to what I keep down in this section which is probably a little bit more difficult I need to get on all fours and show you this so as you can see behind here I keep my desk in front of the radiator I'm always cold so I'm quite looking forward to the fact that this will be um, on in the winter keeping me warm so moving down to this section next to the desk I just keep this copper and wire basket with cushions and throws in there so if I ever get cold or need a cushion for my bum which happens quite often because I sit here for quite a while I get a numb bum I just reach for the cushions and the blankets out there so it's handy within reach and it also adds to the industrial look and then down here I just keep my MacBook Air on this little stand which is actually a phone holder but it holds my MacBook perfectly upright and means that it's easily reachable if I ever need it. I just use that for like holidays or if I just need to travel out and about rather than carrying my big laptop. And then I just keep a couple of notepads down here. I normally have like this one's for passwords and internet things. And then I just have this Liberty Print one, which is just for random things. A Paper Chase glittery one and then just some other bits down there. Um, they're all kind of like just notepads in case I ever need them and I am a notepad hoarder so that is why I have lots down there and then moving on to this section this is just more like the ugly side it kind of has my cables and then I have this printer in the corner so this is a HP inkjet desk jet printer um, and it also has like the scanner there as well it just means that it's kind of hidden away if I have it down here and then I just keep these paper chase document wallet document holder things in front of it so it doesn't look too ugly and these match my notepad I don't know if you can see they're just like a cream with a pink raindrop background rather than the pink with the white backdrop and I really like them they were 175 from paper chase and then just down here I have these Martha Stewart I think these are Martha Stewart home office stack and fit pencil cups so I really really liked these they're almost like a grained I think they're meant to look like a grained leather, um, but they're just like mint, mint pen holders, and I really like them just for keeping like stationary bits, pens, pencils. I've got like a little candle lighter there, some scissors, and just other random bits. So that is the bottom of the desk. Let's make my way back up. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like the overview of what the main bottom and top of the desk looks like and then I've just got a couple of bits up here to talk to you about so this is like my gallery wall which I'd had for ages 
and I'd really really gone off of it I just I hated the way that it looked and I really wanted to take it down but I think that now I've popped like this area in the corner I actually really like how it looks I just think that it's really like meant to look like that I think it all just ties really well together um, so I've just got a couple of pictures on here I love this little printout that I made this is just one of those clips um, one of these little clips and I just popped a little can't think of the word screw in the wall um, and I just leave this lent on there so I can just print out one of these every single month and this is for the month of July and I just found this on Pinterest I think it was just like a print off and I just cut it out and popped a little clip on it and then that just lives on there along with all of my photos some of these are just like this picture was already in the frame um, as you can see it is just the frame insert photo and I just haven't got around to printing out any more photos um, but I just really like how this looks. It's just kind of a couple of photos from over the years. My little sister Ivy. This is a really old photo of my friend Jordan, which I just, I've just never got around to changing. Another really old photo of some friends. Um, me and Sam on holiday in Cuba. That is exactly the same photo, so that definitely needs to be changed. Um, my little calendar. Picture of me and Sam on New Year's Eve, which was Sam's birthday. And then just some old kind of like photos. Um, this was our, mine and Sam's, I think, three year anniversary, which was nearly seven years ago, we've been together for nearly ten years, so that's quite an old photo. Cuba, this again was a little Polaroid from Christmas. This is a really old photo, I think me and Sam were 17 and 18 there, so that's quite old. Picture of Sam with some of his friends, um, Sam on holiday, and then a picture of us on our side. So I definitely need to change these, but I because I was thinking of taking them down, I never bothered getting around to doing it. Um, so that is the gallery wall and then just behind the laptop on the ugly radiator I've just got this like it's I don't think this is actually designed to hold photos it's just like this metal sign and I could never really find what to do with it and me and Sam got this little photo booth image done when we went to the wedding fair from where we're having our wedding venue um, so I just popped that there because I thought it was quite cute I just love how like fun it is so I just keep that behind the radiator um, and I just think it looks nice there so that's just kind of like my little trinket area and that is pretty much it for showing you my Pinterest style desk decor yeah so that is pretty much an overview of what the desk area looks like I hope that you enjoyed watching this video um, you can see my just camera camera is just kind of chilling in the background so yeah I need to get on and film some more videos now but I really hope that you enjoyed watching this Pinterest style kind of like desk tour um, it was kind of like a little informal video but I just wanted to show you what my new desk area looked like really because I am loving it so I'm now going to sit at my desk film some more videos edit this video upload it and then I will see you all again in my next one which I think is going to be a, like a day in the life vlog um yeah See you all soon. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe while you're over here if you aren't already. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye!